and welcome to 151 Garage and today we are going to do a product review by a different company. It is called Triple A Liners or Triple A Liners. I'm not exactly sure what is the correct pronunciation on it so I'm doing both. Now what this is is a center console. They have them for both two door and four door and I chose to do the double decker console. I do believe, is it a double decker? Yes. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out how to tear this thing apart. <laughs> and hold a camera. Alright, so this right here is the top tray. It has a plate for your coins and everything in it. And this is the bottom compartment. And when you put these together, they kind of sandwich together like this and yes I do have the dash together I can't wait to show you the rest of it when I get it all back but the dash is all done and it looks fabulous oh it looks so good I can't wait to show you guys but there's that and it goes like that Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the Boyd rail right there. And we'll go ahead and get this put in. So, hang on. I don't know if I'm all like in this shot or not, but y'all just going to have to deal with it because I can't fit you on the middle part of it because you ain't going to see squat. So anyway, <laughs> back to putting this together. So I emptied everything out of my console right now. I took out the tray that is in it. So this is the original tray that's in it. Let me get all my stuff out of here. So this is the tray that usually comes with the Bronco that sits right there on top, okay? What we're going to do is take this apart. Now, I take it all, this fits everything. I think they gave us like two options or you can just put these both together. So these here, if you remember the Miss Maji videos I've done for their, their little door handle things and the other inserts that we did on the Black Diamond, this is the Miss Maji one. That's just out of the door. So it is essentially the same material. And it holds up really good in the heat. So if you live in a really hot climate like we do, it holds up very well. Now, if you remember, I put the Mishmaji stuff in the Black Diamond before we done anything to it. And it's a solid black car. And it was out in the sun direct and these things held up great so if you want to use these you can or you can use the liners that you can get now they do come in a few different um colors i chose this um it's like a dark gray i think it's the color i'm not really sure because the label's on top of it i want to say it's dark gray but don't quote me on it um I'll find out what I've ordered and I'll put this one in particular in the Amazon store that we have. But I will also put the other colors that they have available. Now I don't know how many of them are still currently available. They may get some in stock later on. If it is currently unavailable when you go in, just be patient. I'm sure we'll get some more. So this is nice. They have the little hole right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And that lines up to the hole that's right there. So I'll go ahead and put both of them in. Just, you know, I don't have any other places to put this. So I might as well just use it for what they sent it for. That goes there. Or the other way, maybe. 
keep all the little tabbies in one direction instead of whatever which way. And that goes right there because there's the cutout. All right, so all of them aligned. That one has a liner, that one has a liner, and then these two major compartments here has their liner. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, dude. So check these out. Um, they, they mimicked as best as they could without having a copyright problem, the Bronco headlight logo. So hopefully y'all can see that. And here's that. And here's that. And this almost looks like the little console badge. You guys can see that. So these go in the place where we just put everything else in. So this one obviously goes with the little keyhole thing right here on this particular one. They go like that. Now, if you wanted to do it without the other liners in it, you can. And I may end up doing that, and I'll just save that bag for these rubber ones. Maybe. They stick, let me tell you, they do stick. And then they'd be like that. But the big one here in the middle, or on the side rather, you can put it however you want. So, whatever your preference is. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, no, you can't. You cannot do that. Ah! <laughs> I stand corrected. You cannot do that. Every single one of these is exactly cut to the exact dimensions of the tray. So if you flip it around where this horse is facing this way, it ain't gonna work. I mean, you can kind of do it, but it's gonna be loose, it's gonna come out, and it ain't gonna be that well secure. So make sure that you follow the cuts of the tray and match the cuts to the, the mat. Found that out. I don't understand why this car makes so much noise. It's not even on. Life is hard without nails. And I don't get fake nails because they'll just ruin the nails I got. So, I've had that happen before. I think the last time I went to a nail salon to do my nails because I didn't have any. I ended up with a nail infection, so I never went back. It's like one bad experience has kind of killed it, you know? <laughs> Why do you have to be so sticky? I'm sorry, I'm trying to put this in, but you know what? The plastic and the rubber on this backing here is like super grippy. And it's gripping the plastic so well that it's, it's not wanting to move. So I'm trying to just wiggle it in here, so hang on. The struggle is real. <laughs> Mods are hard. There. <laughs> Alright, so... For example, hopefully you guys can see the cut on that one. 
on this one right here, this little guy right here, this has to follow that cut. So it'd be like that. So I'll put this down below um, of this. Just because I can. That way I have another tray just in case. Now the hole in the back here, if you guys have, and I can't remember, even though I have three and I just don't feel like jumping into all three of them right now. If every single Bronco has an outlet in the center console, that's like a little cigarette lighter right here. If you do, that's what the hole's for. Drop it in. You put this little guy right on top. And if you ever need to access the bottom one, you just grab it by the middle here and lift it out. And then you can access whatever that is. I like this because you have two different levels for coins and stuff. If you have toll roads that you live on or have to go through on daily commutes, you can at least have that. You can have things concealed in here, you know, all the way through. So it's like extra storage. I really like this. So let me bring you down. And I'll get you a little bit of a closer look. Crap. The cover came off. I had to cover my dash back up because it came undone. <laughs> okay, so I'm holding the lid of the console with the camera hand, so just bear with me. So this is the top one, so when I say grab it right here, you just grab it, lift it straight up, and you have your second layer. If you need to reach underneath that, you grab it right here and lift it up. Now I put the original one right here, straight on the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you can barely see it. It might show up better on the, when I edit, but it's right here. So I like it. I think it's going to work just wonderfully. So kudos to triple A liners or triple A liners. I love it. And I can't wait to, you know, keep trying out more products that y'all got. So if you ever want to do another collaboration with 151 Garage, please reach out to us. Um, recommend it. I will list it in my Amazon store. So that way you guys can find it. It will also be in the link in the description down below. And if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So that way you don't miss any of our uploads. We upload Monday and Friday now instead of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just because... I'm a very busy woman right now. I joined the gym, so I'm trying to get my strengths back. <laughs> so wish me luck. It's going to be a very long road to where I was before I got sick. So getting back to that point. But luckily, there is a thing called muscle memory, and that is going to be very beneficial to me when I go back into the gym and really start cranking it out. So again, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. It's almost time. But I will give you a peek. That's all you getting. That's it. That's all you're getting. I can't wait to show you guys.